guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 62, Authors of Pain, Akam and Rezar. I was very, very excited to get these. I actually had BEW Animations make custom Elite to them a while back because I wasn't sure if or when uh, they'd be getting them. And uh, mine are actually pretty different from these, which is good, so it's an alternate uh, set. Uh, but these look amazing, the detail on them, the outfits, the accessories, even the title belts, which unfortunately are covered in the box there, uh, look really, really nice. But anyway, taking a look at them in the packaging, you can see they have their masks off. The titles are actually hid behind the build -a display uh, logo, and I'm not sure why they didn't put the belts on the sides there, um, but they look awesome. There's a side of Acom's box and Rezar's box. And on the back, there's pictures of them. And then also in the set is Braun Strowman, Sting, Dude Love, and Roman Reigns. And I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com. As can you, and you could save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout as well. Uh, so that being said, let's take a look at them fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 62 Authors of Pain figures fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say these two figures are fantastic. I love them. The detail, the I think the fact they just have new molds, accessories, everything just really, really great. Um, these two figures are really awesome. I highly, highly recommend picking them up. Do not miss out on them, honestly. Um, you know, I guess my only real complaint maybe is that like the proportions from their upper torso to their lower torso looks a little weird down here maybe just a thicker like wider waist or something with their legs um, I don't know besides that I love them let me show you uh, the titles so the new tag titles look fantastic the detail on these are amazing they're not dull either so Mattel really knocked these figures out of the park and I'm sure everybody will be after them just to have these titles um, but just look at that Freaking awesome. And then their masks. So they both come with the same mask as well. So this is like a thin rubber. As you can see it's squishy. The detail on it is great. And it splits in the back there just so it's easy to put on their head. And I'll uh, show you Akum first. So you just pop it on like that. And it rests on his head no issue. Unfortunately it is open in the back there which they wouldn't have. Um, but obviously to help you get it on and off. It still looks fantastic. So easily removes. You can see the detail in his vest, which is removable. It says Akum there. Here's his new head scan. Looks pretty good, honestly. You can see the detail in his facial hair and his hair in general. Even the little wrinkles on the back of his head. It says AOP on the back. And then you can see his tattoo there as well. It's interesting they painted on his elbow pad there as well. Um, but the detail in the vest is really nice. So to take it off, you just pop it open in the back there. And it just slides right off like that. And there you go. I think it's a Braun Strowman upper torso. Um, but you can see more of his tattoo there. Has a typical articulation, of course. Says AOP. And then has an AOP logo on the back as well. So I, they do have all new leg molds. i just not really sure I like the transition from this part of the body to the legs because it looks kind of skinny um, but the the molds are still really nice of course these are all new uh, jean molds whatever cargo pants you'd really consider them with their crazy uh, knee pads they have molded on there then just a typical tall black boots but you could pose them pretty well it says AOP on the side there too so it's pretty much the same body of course for both of them just updated appropriately for each guy um, but here's Rezar I think I'm saying his name right so his head scan looks pretty good you know, I have to see if I can remove that little uh, paint dot right there um, but I'm digging the new head scans lately they're doing a lot better with that uh, new scanning technology but other than that everything else is the same pretty much just pop off his vest as well so you can see real quick underneath and the vest is a thin rubber forgot to point that out um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same figure, just missing the tattoos, of course, since he doesn't have any. Um, but these two figures are absolutely fantastic. Very excited to do some photography and whatnot with them soon. So, 
definitely do not miss out on picking these two up because I think you'd regret it. I know they're not being booked that well on uh, Raw lately, unfortunately, but I don't know. Most guys coming up from NXT lately aren't doing that well, which is really unfortunate, but these two are very awesome. I really hope they uh, release that Paul Ellering figure to go with them as well, but who knows now that he's not around. Uh, but anyway, like I said, you can get these two on ringsidecollectibles.com. Save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. They'll save you some money and support yours truly, so thank you as always. And uh, be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.